DJ Part 2, bear review! It's time to pour yet another New England IPA down my neck, and where are we going to go to acquire said New England IPA? We're going to go to Ind Industrial Arts Brewing Company out of Garnerville, New York, U.S. of A. Yay, yay! And what beer are we going to have from them? We're going to have their Wrench New England IPA. This is a rotating serving, clocks in 6.8% ABV, between 30 and 60 IBUs. That's all I know about the beer, except for the fact that I picked this up at my favorite New Jersey beer stop, which is Clayton Liquors. Shout out to you, my brother, Raj. Thanks for hooking me up with this beer, my friend. So, you know what? I got nothing else to say, but I've heard really awesome things about this beer. Time to crack the top, get in the glass. And oh yeah, by the way, it's been in the can for a week and a half at time of recording. That's as fresh as you're getting it. Time to crack it. Ah, and get in the glass. We're going to pour it into our Libby Craft Beer glasses, which I believe is what they call this one. Wow, uber hazy, just coming out of the can. The hops are freaking blasting off of this bad boy. Wowzers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo-wee. Let's see what we got. It is, appearance-wise anyway, it's a milky sort of amber gold color. I think if the haze was out there, it would be mostly amber colors with a hint of orange to it. We got a solid one-finger head of super tightly packed bubbles. When I swirl it, yeah, you know what? We're actually getting some alcohol legs. A little bit, man. 6.8. And I think we might get some glass lacing out of this as well. But look at that. That is hazy New England IPA deliciousness. But you know what? It's got to smell good, too. So let's dive in for the aroma. Man, big, dank citrus, zesty citrus, juicy. Man, lots of dankness in this one. Some pine, some herbaceous sort of basil notes in there. Some mango. Maybe they're using citra and mosaic in this. Those are usual suspects in these, these New England IPAs. Mm, man, some lots and lots of grapefruits coming up now. Some pineapple. And as the beer opens up even more, more dankness is rolling off the top. Mm, citrus juice and dankness. That smells freaking awesome. That's the main aromas anyway. There's the other side effects we were talking about. But this smells awesome. Not a hint of alcohol, like I said. Time to dive in. Cheers! Thanks a million, Raj. Mmm, mim, yum. That flavor, wow, parlays right into the aroma. Punch of citrus zest up front. After dank, after that dankness, herbaceous notes, mmm, it's crisp, actually. You know, it's, it has like a medium mouthfeel, and the back end is crisp and dry. You could crush this glass, like I thought, awesome glass lazy, but you could crush this glass from top to bottom. Nice citrus. It's not a super juice bomb, but it is really juicy. But it's got some aspects of nice dankness and pine. And that's how I see kind of like, I'm seeing a lot of these New England IPAs kind of evolve into that. They start out as like one note, almost pure juice bombs. Like you're drinking, like I said, in the, I've said in other videos, like the old school unsweetened Donald Duck orange juice that you would get in little cans. That's what that would taste like. This has some of those effects, but it's got more complexity due to the dankness, the piney notes, and some grapefruit character as well. And a bit of like spicy mango-ish. Maybe they've got mosaic. I don't know. But I'm getting some of that like near the mango skin or by the pith of the orange, like pithiness. Yeah. Super drinkable. Totally hidden alcohol. Really, really well-made beer. Damn. Let's grade it because I want to finish the rest of it. Anywho, Beer Advocate is giving this 4.31 points out of 5. And Untapped is giving this 4.19 caps out of 5. So, I'd say at 4.31, you're definitely into the high A range with, at Beer Advocate. And Untapped, you're getting 4.1. That's I'd say that's their A range, too. I'm going to go... Mm, let me take one more taste. I think I'm going to go... Solid 96. Really good beer. I would drink it again. Have no problem finishing a pounder can. That's a good size for this beer, I think. Super tasty. Bravo, Industrial Arts Brewing Company. I would try another one of your beers for sure. So, have you had Industrial Arts Brewing Company's Wrench New England IPA? If you have, let me know what you know because I like to quit broke, go eh, eh, the back and forth. If you've had one of their other tool-themed beers or named beers, let me know because about that, that's that's cool too. I haven't had it, but if you got a suggestion for me, tell me. Anywho, oh, you know what I also really like is when you think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. And it is, well... 
exceedingly awesome when you rate, comment, subscribe, and if you get around to it, consider maybe smashing that like button because that, <laughs> along with a pounder of this, that's all I'm going to need tonight to put my big ass beer drinking happy face on, you know, yeah. So, I'm going to finish up this pounder, and you know what I got coming for you now? That's right, a bunch of Ranch New England IPA drinking love, and <laughs> you're ready for it. That's right, a big pizza!